Hi, my name's Dale, and welcome to my lathe. I mean shop. Today I'm gonna to show you how to level a lathe. And actually when we level a lathe, we're taking the twist out of it. And we're gonna use just an ordinary plumb bob and a simple rig to make that happen. That's what we're going to do today on MetalTipsAndTricks.com. Let's talk about leveling a lathe. Now, we're not trying to level it from, from the head, headstock to the tailstock. We're not trying to do this, and we're not trying to level it this way. Although we will bring it in close, which is a simple level. What we're trying to do is correct the bed from twisting. As these settle into the floor, um, a lathe will twist a little bit. Also, if you put something heavy in there that's a little out of round, it's going to move your machine change its spot. It may only move over an eighth of an inch, but that's enough to add a twist to your lathe. And if that twist will keep your chuck and your tail stock out of alignment. And anything that you turn, like a long shaft, you'll find out that its measurement will change from one end to the other, and it's a very frustrating process. Um, and I've experienced that quite a few times until I figured out there was a twist in the bed. So we're going to use this plumb bob and a stand that holds it. Let me show you the details of that. So it's a very simple device. Um, it needs to be very flat on the bottom. We don't want it to rock at all. Also, the chance of this piece of steel being totally flat is nil. Um, I did a little bit of work on it, flattened it out as much as I can. But what we'll do is we'll take a Sharpie and we'll just mark two points on each side and those will be our lineup marks. So when we move it to the other end of the bed, we'll put those marks right on this V-way exactly in the same position and that'll keep us lined up um, from those set of ways to this set of ways. So let's clean the bed. I use just a paint thinner and a paper towel. We're going to clean off all the grit, all the grime, remove the tail stock. And then after that's done, I'll show you the process of using this uh, machine. OK, like I already talked about, we put two marks on each side of this rig. And that'll keep it lined up for when we move it to the tail stock. Now what I want to do. So we're going to get this to stop moving. And if you wanted to, you could go in here with a pen and mark it. I've actually found out that I just go in with a piece of tape, and I hold it right up to the, the plumb bob, and just pull it back just a little bit, a little bit. See where the plumb bob starts to settle? OK. There we go. That's our mark. Now we're going to pick this rig up and move it to the back side. OK, we've moved this rig to the, where the tailstock would normally be. This is about the furthest point we can get away from the other spot. Now we're going to find out how far out we are. And we're going to use a feeler gauge. Now I've got this feeler gauge set up. I've already pulled out 5, 10, and 20. And what we'll do is we can see this plumb bob is not touching the tape. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the feeler gauge under here. We'll go with 20 first, see what happens. Now we also want to make sure that we have our lineup marks there. Okay, we can see that 20 thousandths is too far. So let's try 10,000. Okay, the only reason we're doing this measurement is just out of curiosity to find out how much the bed's twisted. And we're right now 10,000, still too much. Let's go to five.
Now, the longer you make this rod, the more sensitive this machine is, but also the longer this takes to settle down. So there is this fine trade-off. And also when you move it from point A to point B, well, you have to move this big thing around. And it does become a point where it's impractical. Like it, this one here is about four feet long. So now let's check it. Well, the looks here by changing the different things were probably about six thousandths off. So what we're going to do is level this out. Now what's great is when I built the stand for this base, I put four leveling feet on it. So I can actually just go down the leveling, leveling feet and adjust it however I want it. If you don't have leveling feet on your base, you can put shims where you mount the lathe to your tabletop or to your stand. And using this method to find out how far out it is can help you how, tell you how thick a shim you actually will need. Now, I do keep extra sets of these around, um, of these feeler gauges, and I cut them apart and I actually use them for shims. It's a great way. And these are cheap. They're just a few bucks. So it's a great way to get um, very accurate shim material and a wide variety. So what I'm going to do is take my handy wrench, take it down to the floor on this corner, And now I've got the wrench right down at my feet and I can actually just move it with my feet, moving it over until everything lines up. Okay, that's looking maybe just a little bit more. We'll study the plumb bob. Perfect. Now what happens is we've lifted this corner up now we have to check this other side. Okay, again we need to line up to our marks here and here. Perfect. So this is how you level a lathe using a plumb bob. Get that lathe straightened out. Until next time, go out in your shop, build something cool. Thanks.